Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the launcher mod for Minecraft. So first off, if you guys want to check out the link in the description, it'll say the launcher mod down there, and like I said, in the link in the description below. Um, check it out here, and it's going to be, this is the Minecraft form webpage for the mod. Um, so you, what you want to do is actually go here, and you want to go down here to the download and install. You want to click on the spoiler, and you want to click show there. And you're going to see that this mod requires Forge. Um, but first off, you just want to download the actual folder. So just click on that, and download that, and save it onto your desktop. It should look just like that. It says 1.6.4 launcher mod by Bronze B. That's the... That's that's the name of the, of the mod maker. So uh, there you go. That's how, the, how to download that. Um, again, you're going to need to download Forge. So there is a link in the description for Forge down below there. Just click on that. It's going to bring you right here to this Minecraft Forge web page here. And what you want to do is actually scroll down to the recommended 1.6.4 or whatever version you guys are actually using in Minecraft. Um, so just go there and click on the installer. So click on the installer right there and save that installer right under the desktop. Just like this. You're going to see Minecraft Forge installer. So once you guys have both of those things downloaded onto your desktop, Top just like that you guys are actually ready to start installing the mod um, so first off what you want to do is actually just open up Minecraft Forge installer and you're gonna see install client right there and you just want to push OK uh, that you're gonna see downloading there and you're gonna see this it pops up and it'll say uh, successfully installed client profile for force so that after you just push OK and you guys are actually done with that file um, so what you want to do next is actually open up Minecraft and, we, and we, what we want to do is actually run Minecraft and so first off uh, of course, we need to log in, so we'll just log in real quick. I uh, gotta do it right. Uh, eh. Sorry about that. Takes a while. There we go. Lo all logged in. And what you want to do next is actually go to Edit Profile. So once you guys have logged in, you go to Edit Profile. And what you want to do is see this Use Version right here. You want to make sure you're all the way down at the very bottom and you're selected on the Forge. Now just go to the very the newest one you can see here. Um, I have that one. Whatever version you guys actually download on the desktop. So there you go. 11 point. Uh, 197 just push save profile and make sure that's the one that you guys have downloaded so that you can see there uh, 917 so there you go uh, once you guys have done that actually what you want to do is actually click play and once you guys have opened up Minecraft and you're actually clicking play and what this is actually going to do is actually going to run your Minecraft Forge and it's going to make it's going to create the necessary files and folders that you guys actually need um, so it's always a good idea to install the Forge and run Minecraft once you guys have it installed so as you see here you got three mods loaded three mods active and that means you guys are actually installed Forge correctly and you guys are actually ready to start installing the other mods so what you want to do there is actually close Minecraft always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods so next thing you actually want to do is actually put the launcher mod into the mods folder and I'll show you guys how to do that now what you want to do is actually go down to the start and you want to type in a start you want to type in percent a p p d a t a that's percent app data and another percent uh, once you guys have typed in percent after the percent, you're going to see this roaming folder in the very top there. What you want to do is next is you actually see this dot minecraft folder in the very top of that folder. You just click on that dot minecraft folder and this is where you guys are actually going to see the mods folder. See the mods folder right there? Um, you, you're only going to see that folder if you guys actually started up your minecraft with forge installed. So if you guys don't see that mods folder, it's because you guys did not follow this video exactly like I showed you. Again, you guys did not start minecraft with forge installed. So I, I recommend you guys do that first, um, but if you still haven't done that, just Create a new folder and name that all under cap mods folder right there. Open up that mods folder, make sure that folder is empty, and you simply drag in the launcher mod right into that mods folder. Very simple, and you're done. You guys, like, you guys can actually open up Minecraft and click play. And I just want to do this, make sure it's uh, actually working correctly and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are actually interested in installing Optifine with this mod, um, what Optifine does is it reduces lag in your Minecraft game, and it's a really awesome mod. I always recommend it. Um, I, there is a link in the description below, so you guys can click on Optifine, and I'll show you guys how to install Optifine with this mod. Um, so you can see here, four mods loaded, four mods active. You go to that mods folder, and you're going to see that the launcher mod is installed, and you guys are actually ready to start playing. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure you guys give this video a like. Um, let's see if we can get this video up to 25 likes. If we do, um, or if you guys even want to see my review of this, uh, just make sure you guys like like this video. It'd be really awesome if we get to 25 likes, and I'll do a my review. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.